What's going on, everyone? Are we live? Am I good? I think I'm live now. How's everybody doing? Happy Easter. Just realized my ears were crooked. Uh, let's see, we got Mike. What's going on, Mike? Mark Rose, what's up? Over one you going is Sunny. Como están todos? Hope things are swell for everyone. We're going pretty swell. Prescribed drone, what's going on, man? I hope I'm live. I think I'm live still. Um, not in my studio where I keep all my stuff. Uh, decided to ch- come in to steal my kids' computer today. So uh, we're here. That's our books that we pretend to read. Um, working my way around here on his computer, so I don't know. I might I might screw up, disconnect a few times, but it is what it is. We'll see what's happening. Uh, let's see what else are we doing here today. How's everybody doing? All four of y'all, thanks for joining on the special Easter edition. I say special Easter edition. There's nothing special going to happen, but uh, we're here. Raise your hand if you've seen the X-Men 97, all three episodes. Amazing show. We'll talk about that and then discuss. I would say in detail. I don't know if everybody's seen it. We're going to discuss it later. Savage saying, what's going on, man? Says, what's good, everyone? Happy Easter, if it applies to you. <laughs> Sub Sunford, what's going on? Thanks for using my legal name. Mark Z seen it. 97 is great, says, subscribe drone. Dare I say, so far, I think I like it better than the original. I know, I know. A remake that outperformed the original. It's amazing to see. But, yeah, it's um, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Everybody, well, and I say everybody. The people I've talked to about it at work seem to like it pretty good. I just realized this charger cable has this humongous tag. I'm going to slide it down so it doesn't disturb you draw too much attention to my neck. If I can move it down. All right, there we go. Mark says same. Prescribed Jones says it has better writing. Savage Saint also seen it. Uh, <laughs> White Rabbit. <laughs> I just saw that. Rick Jones. Um, but yeah, no, I, I I like it. It's more of a story, I should say. More like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More organized. It feels more organized. So. X uh Rick Jones says X97 is very truncated and exposition heavy. I like it though, man. I like it. It still tells a story, goes along, keeps you on the edge of your seat every time. It's crazy because it's one of those shows where it's like, I want to see it as soon as the new episode comes out, but then I also want to like I also would have preferred to have seen it all in one shot. It's kind of weird to have two preferences for the same show, but that's the way it feels. And you know what I could do now? Let's see. If I can do this. Oh, let's see. I'm going to try to figure this out right now. X-Men 97. I might have whatever our topic is we're discussing. I'm going to put that up on the board. Let's see. X-Men 97. How do I just see that image? There we go. All right. Hold on. I got this, y'all. I got this present share screen there we go yeah yeah no not that one that one nope is that it what am i doing no crap okay nope i'm gonna get this one day I have no idea what I'm doing. All right. All right. There we go. That'll work for now. X-Men 97 presented by State Farm. I don't want to put State Farm on there because farmers may want to sponsor me one day. All right. Rick Jones says, I like the animation, except when the lips move, it looks mechanical. Seven Saints says, definitely better. A few plot holes, but we will see. I'm here for it. 97 is the... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> this is a pump C, bro. <laughs> oh, man. 
Pumpsy. Pumpsy all the way. <laughs> oh, man. That's a throwback for uh, whoever doesn't remember Pumpsy. Uh, Mark C says, LOL, when Morph or Madeline were explaining their past, I was hoping Cyclops or Storm would be like, yeah, I was there. There's some anime moments in some scenes like how smooth the animation can be. Olu says, I would have waited for all the episodes if it wasn't for spoilers. Yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Like, I'm waiting for all of the Madam Web movies to come out before I watch them. I'm trying to avoid spoilers. No, I'm just joking. Uh, I do want to see it, though. Haven't seen it yet. But X-Men 97. Uh, of course, it's cool to see the new animations. I was just checking it out right now as well. Again, uh, before the live stream, I'm, even my wife was like, wow, it looks so cool. Like, it's all the originals, but it's updated. And I was like, yeah, it's a dope. Um, I'm, I'm sad that they took the little the little pink headed guy out of the out of the little clash when they when they when they collide in the beginning of the title. Kind of announced that uh, Pump <laughs> <laughs> Savage Saint says it's called Pump Say. I would actually say Pump Say. Pump Say. Pump Say. Uh, but yeah, no, they took the little little bald headed dude out, which I was like, oh, it's a shot fire to all bald Americans. Uh, but I, I like the cartoon a lot. Let me ask you all about the voices. Cause I had that conversation with people at work. In the trailer, I didn't like Wolverine's voice. I don't mind it now in the cartoon. On the actual show, I think it's all right. Cyclops sounds just like the old actor to me. Um, I like that they made Cyclops a likable guy this time. I actually like his character at this point. Um, Rogue sounds like the original actress is trying her best to get back to that old Southern Belle, but almost like she's been a Southern Belle, but she moved to New York and lost her accent. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good show. I mean, I think the voices, sorry, the voices are pretty good. Marcus, he says they haven't changed the intro to have Magneto with the X-Men yet, but they show Magneto in his purple costume doing this. And it says Magneto. I don't know if he's doing that exactly, but he he is introduced with the X-Men in the very beginning. So that's kind of cool. But then, yeah, they still show him fighting against the X-Men. Uh, Mark C says Wolverine's old man voice <laughs> and most of the cast voice pass. Omega Weapon 13, Cyclops says a new voice actor. Yeah, unfortunately, the original one passed away. I want to say last year, the year before. Can't remember when it was. <laughs> I'm up here just reading Savage Saints comments and they're coming through like wildfire over here. Strike that. Poom say sounds harder. Pause. No Diddy. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard. <laughs> we'll talk about Diddy. We'll, we'll get Diddy in here too. Let me find a good picture of Diddy to put up when we discuss some. Some Diddy. Let's see. Diddy pictures. Images. All right, we're going to bring up some Diddy later. Uh, Got to get a real good take that, take that Diddy pick. Uh, let's see. Which one says, I am guilty? Oh, that one right there. <laughs> All right. This is the one. This is the one. All right. When we talk about Diddy, I got the perfect picture. All right. Uh, Cyclops is cooler. Or uh, which character would you voice as the figure report? Oh man, you know what? If I could voice a character, I think I would have to go with. Uh, I'd go with Sauron. If they bring Sauron back, I'd go with Sauron. And I would make him sound like an inner city teen that has no father figure in his life. Nobody would expect it. Some people would be like, I hate his voice. And it would be like, you're racist if you hate his voice. So I would be sore on, but I play him as an inner city teen with no father figure. Or, or I would be Mystique's voice. And they'd be like, oh, man. And I would do all the voice acting to pretend I'm the other characters. If I had to play two characters because of budget concerns. Olu says Cyclops was cooler in 15 seconds than he was in the entire 90s show. I agree with that. When he did that little blast effect to move himself backwards 
I was like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. That was cool. Then we charged up Bishop. Ah, oh, that was sweet. Mark C says, I'm surprised Ross Marquand, Marquand, did that pronounce his last name? Is Professor X in flashback scenes. He's really good at impressions. Did he always look like the Marvel Universe 3.75 extremist Iron Man figure to me? Like their head shapes are similar ones. <laughs> figure report, bold choice, love it. Got to. Well, you've done some acting. Which act, which uh, which character would you play, uh, Mikey? Which uh, which which I guess bad guy and good guy. Who would you play? Marcus, he says, someone with a Texas accent. Texas accent. Did you know I was in idiocracy? <laughs> Savage says, I was surprised. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I got to be careful what I say on the live streams because Facebook, I mean, not Facebook, Insta, uh, YouTube, what am I on? YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. YouTube keeps put a limit to, limiting my monetization. Instead of giving me four cents, they gave me two cents. Uh, <laughs> Cyclops and Gina, the first X, I mean, who's going to lead us? <laughs> Mm. All right. The figure report would be told. I like that. Would you um All right, figure report. You're fighting Halle Berry Storm. Halle Berry Storm says, "Do you know what happens to a toad when it gets struck by lightning?" What would be your response to that? Inquiring minds want to know at this point. Um, <laughs> Savage Saint says, my bad. Oh, it's all good, man. I just got to. I don't even know what I said that triggered it for the past like five live streams, but it did for some reason. I'm like, what did I say? I don't remember what I said. So uh, I think I got to not mention any scientific words. I think scientific words are getting me too. see google adsense i don't want to click that okay but yeah uh x-men 97 love the show <laughs> all right so picture this everyone halle berry storm michael hernandez the figure report toad's voice storm says do you know what happens when toads get struck by lightning huh <laughs> of course she would say it in an African accent Mark Z says I kind of want to see the X-Men 97 appear in Avengers Secret Wars like animated interacting with live action characters like across the Spider-Verse I don't think that they would uh, I don't think Marvel's ready to take that step I don't think that they're ready to or willing to jump that jump the shark that that quick I said jump the shark because we know a lot of people are going to complain about it. It would be cool if somehow I, I'm pretty sure they're going to be like the cartoons going to be playing in the background somewhere. They got to throw a little hint into it. Oh, <laughs> okay. I oh I too would do an African accent like DiCaprio in Blood Diamond. Okay, so okay. I guess that's for the continuity. I like it. And then Storm would be like, Storm would probably be like, huh? I'm like, well, man. He said, huh? In a African accent. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's go to. Bam. Diddy. Let's talk about some Diddy over here. Uh, so add a twang to that, huh? <laughs> let's talk about Diddy. All right. Diddy. <laughs> Mr. Jones, what's going on, man? He says, Sonny, don't do an African accent. I would do a South African accent because they sound like Australians. Or uh, Europeans, one or the other. You Londoners, they sound like Londoners. Mark Z says, that pick is a jump scare. I just like everybody who's going to hop on right now and be like, oh, I want to see what this toy guy's up to. Why is Diddy on here? <laughs> uh, the figure report says Diddy season two villain confirmed. Hey, maybe he's on the island of Genosha. We don't know that yet. Let's 
So he may have flown there. I don't know if Genosha has extradition to the U.S., but that may be where Diddy is at currently. And they just joined the U.N. if you caught up to season three. Olu reminds me. He's now the diddler. Not, not Olu. Pity. 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 <laughs> Pity. Diddy. I don't know what side this is on. Diddy is the diddler. Let's go find. Let's go find a, a, the diddler. Does anybody know what we're talking about when we say the diddler? The diddler. If you want to keep up with uh, Fifty Cent or with with Diddy, just go to Fifty Cent's page and he posts everything. Oh man, what is this? Who uploads these as thumbnails? This is ridiculous. Here we go. Bam. The diddler. All right. Savage Saint says, this mofo starting to make Suge Knight look like a man of God. Dude. Yeah, the stuff that's coming out about him, I'm just like, whoa, okay, all right. Um, But we knew he was guilty. I told a friend of mine, we know he's he was guilty from the jump. Because he's, he's always said, take that, take that. He's never said, do you consent? Do you consent? I stick by that. He's guilty. Uh, Yens, what's going on, man? Says, happy Sunday, everyone. Howdy, Sonny. Mr. Jones says, you can do the ditty if you want to. Because I can see if you want to. What? I don't know the rhythm of that. Dang it. I totally ruined that one. Figure report says, is Genosha one of Epstein's islands? <laughs> I think it might be. It probably has more, has less jurisdiction to the U.S. than Epstein's island. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it has more jurisdiction. Mark Z says, is that real? I can't tell if it's AI or not. This is fake. This is AI. Um, although Diddy did dress up as the Joker. If you haven't ever seen that clip, he dressed up as Heath Ledger's Joker. And apparently did such a great job. Warner Brothers put a um, a cease and desist to avoid him from dressing up like the Joker anymore. Which I think the WB or DC Comics, one of them, they they I think that they knew something we didn't know. They're like, hey, we don't want this child molester, sex trafficker. I oh, I probably just got a monetization hit for that. But they don't want Diddy. To dress as Joker anymore. Nasser Nasser, what's going on, man? Says, what up, Sonny? Are we at Henry Diddy? We're talking about the Diddy right now. Olu says, not gonna lie, no way out is still amazing. I agree. That was before that was before all the stuff though. So I think hope. I don't know. Fingers crossed. I'm like, can I listen to pre- like Diddy's guilty. I don't know about Puff Daddy though. Puff Daddy may not be so guilty. Mr. Jones says AI. You can tell at first glance. Yeah, those weird teeth. He has the same teeth that that uh, uh got him guy has. The got him meme. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but there he has it. Rappers dress up as DC characters as genre in itself. Like 50 Cent of Cyborg is a canon event for some reason. I still think nobody beats Method Man as Bishop though. Diddy as Joker. I'm going to pull up this Diddy as the Joker right here. All we're going to do is use copyrighted images all night tonight. Let's see. There we go. Diddy as the Joker. I just realized that's very small. If you have our own cell phone, my bad. Figure report says, yeah, it was probably the WB Frog who sent that letter. Dang it. Michigan J. Frog, how dare he? <laughs> Michigan J. Frog. I never even knew his name until like the WB Network started. He's <laughs> the lead investor, investigator. Someone should make a Michigan J. Frog out of Frogman. The Marvel Legends Frogman. <laughs> Tupac from Juice as Bishop. 
he might have taken the cake on that one. Let's see, I need a bigger, bigger photo than that other one. Open image. There we go. Nope, still not working. All right. Apparently, Diddy has no high quality photos. Marcus Z says, I keep thinking Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox, I think he could play Michigan J. Frog in the live action movie if he needed to. Uh, let's see. Oh, I like this one. Savage Saint says, I agree, Mike. You never trust a frog in a top hat, bro. That's like rule number three. <laughs> Michigan J. Fox. There we go. I could, I, could, I could see Michigan J. Fox. Let me see. Michigan J. Frog. I just love what people are going to pop up. And they're like, I don't even know what's going on with this anymore. Let's see, Michigan J Frog. It's probably the best picture. I, now I feel like someone should make a custom Michigan J Frog. See, I have so many tabs open now. All right, Michigan J Frog. Michigan J. Frox. <laughs> Frox sounds like a disease. Oh, I can't talk about diseases. YouTube is watching. Um, Speaker Report says, that's my dude. <laughs> my uh, my son, I wouldn't have seen. We had a Looney Tunes DVD disc. And for all those young folks, it's how we used to watch movies back in the day. Um, and it has a Michigan J frog, uh, is it hello, hello, my darling, hello, my darling, hello, my baby, hello, my ragtime gal, that one, uh, I might've got them out of order, but it has that cartoon on there and he liked it right off the jump. I used to hate that cartoon when I was a little kid. I don't know why I like, I don't know why I had beef with a singing frog, but I did. Uh, it was a very weird time in my life, I guess, but I didn't like that. The song that I did love all the time was let me let me uh let me pull this one up. I made my kid watch this cartoon like five times in a row. He was all like, "Why do we keep watching this?" And I was like, "It's amazing." Let me see. Can anybody guess what my favorite singing cartoon could be? Anybody will take a crack at that. I'm trying to get a good picture. Let's see. That will work. That might be a big picture. Uh, <laughs> yes. No, like that frog was cool. SpongeBob, I'm a goofy goober. What is I don't even know what that is. I don't know what a goofy goober is. You know, I've never really gotten into SpongeBob. Maybe because I was an adult when it came out. Actually, I have no idea if I was an adult when I came when it came out. Here we go. Let's see. God, come on. Like every picture I pull up is a small little bitty picture. Maybe this one do it. Chipmunks. Nope, not chipmunks. Olu says chipmunk. I did like to watch Alvin and Chipmunks when I was a little kid. Particle Man. Elmer Fudd killed the wabbit. Wasn't killed the wabbit either. Try to get a good photo. Is that a good photo? That might be a good photo. This is my jam still. I still, I would, if, uh, if they made this chopped and screwed, I would bang it every day. Suddenly Sonny has exquisite taste. 
DuckTales. Woo! That's not the one. Bam! That one right there. If you haven't seen this cartoon, for some reason, I loved it when I was a little kid. Made my kid watch it a ton of times. Mark Z says, Goofy movie, power line, eye to eye, or stand out. No, it wasn't a, wasn't a big goof, goof, Goofy movie or Goof Troop uh, fan. Matt Lodger 44 says, Happy Easter, everyone. Yes, sir. I want to. I love the singer about the moon and the June and the springer. I love the singer. That's the man. I think I'm gonna have to download that and tell someone to chop and screw it. Like you chop and screw. I might chop and screw it myself. Who knows? I'll sit here. I'll I'll buy some DJ equipment from uh, Amazon or Craigslist because it'll probably be stolen a lot cheaper if I just buy uh, stolen DJ equipment. And then chop and screw it. Mark G says this was before my time. This was before my time, man. I wasn't, I'm not. I wasn't born in the 40s. Actually, I don't know when this song came out or <laughs> when this cartoon came out. Let's see. When did it come out? 1936. Marcus Y thought I was born in 1936. He's like, Sonny, when you watch this as a youngin when it first debuted. How did it make you feel? It was. <laughs> the figure for it says, I like the one the dad out makes him sing. <laughs> if you know what he's talking about, it's hilarious because that's a, that's also a good song. I, they should make a dance version of that one. Chop and screw. I love the singer and dance version to the other one. Prescribed Jones says he remembers this. That's what I'm talking about. It's amazing. So, <laughs> so he's 94 years old. <laughs> I remember I uh, first recorded this on. Uh, I don't even know what kind of recording equipment they had in 1936. I took a picture with my light bulb camera. <laughs> That's actually the picture I took when it debuted in 1936. I colored it in Photoshop. I wasn't born in the 40s. <laughs> Ball walls, I love to sing. Man, I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna cut a I'm gonna cut a mixtape and just sing that song in different styles every time. I'm gonna be like, yeah, I need someone to lay me a hard trap beat. Just makes your trunk rattle. And I'm gonna jam, I love to sing. I'm gonna sing it to sing the words to it. Get a, a a death metal track to sing it to, and then I'll get a lot of praise and first prize trophies like he did right there. I like that his name is Al Jolson as well. It's very it's very funny to us in the 36 time frame. Figure report says I need this in my life. I'm going to drop a music video to it. It's going to go viral. It's going to be insane. <laughs> Bubba Sparks. Hello, my honey. Hello, my... What is it? Ah, I can't think of the name, the words right now. I know it's Hello, my ragtime gal. Is that what the song is called? Hello, my ragtime. Which sounds gross, because if you know what ragtime means, it's when the girl's on her period. And that's just gross. Hello, my ragtime girl. Let's see. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. If you refuse me, honey, you'll lose me. Then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. These sound like Diddy lyrics. I bet Diddy wrote this. Gross song. What? I found a remix called I Love the Singer DJ Wally West Remix Volume 2. Oh man, I'm at the. Since I have a computer up, I'm going to Google that right now. Love to Singer about the moon and the June and the Springer. That's a jam. I'm going to put that on every single 
Instagram post. Oh yeah, okay. I pulled that. I'm not. I can't play it right now, but I did pull it up. Sonny called his friends on the rotary phone <laughs> to let them know this dropped. Actually, I called the operator to have her patch me through to my uh, my homies, and I told him, "Hey, just real quick, stop bootlegging. I need you to hear this song." Uh, and fun fact, I was so poor, we still had a rotary phone when I grew up. I grew up in the 80s, and we had a rotary phone. We had it actually had a it actually it had a picture of Elmer Fudd on the phone too. I don't know where we got that Elmer Fudd uh, sticker from. That's a Michigan J Frog track. <laughs> Michigan J on the beat. My Lodge 44 says, "What's sad is all those songs have." suspicious origins and would probably get canceled today. I bet they would. Because Hello My Baby just sounds wrong. Hello My Baby, Hello My Honey, Hello My Ragtime Gal. Send Me a Kiss by Wire. I don't even know what, how that would work. Baby My Heart's on Fire. This is like this is like sexting back in the days. Send Me a Kiss by Wire is sexting in the 1930s. Wait, when did the, when did this one come out? I might be. Let me see. Uh, what's that song called? Hello, hello, my baby. Is that what we called it? Hello, my ragtime. I'm just gonna put hello, my ragtime gal. When was it released? Uh, let's see. Released in. I was probably still an old man when this came out. Oh, they got the whole lyrics here. Okay. We're going to read the whole suspicious lyrics here. Doesn't say when this came out, but instrumental version of the song over the ending of Blooper Bunny. What? All right. And uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Diddy J Frog. <laughs> we had, see, Mr. Jones had a rotary phone too. Texas was behind the times for a bit. All right, so it says, oh, see, hello, my baby, hello, my honey, hello, my ragtime girl. Send me a kiss by wire, sexting. Baby, my heart's on fire. Uh, innuendo. If you refuse me, honey, you'll lose me. Then you'll be left alone. That's abandonment issues oh baby telephone and tell me i'm your own that's very possessive uh very demanding and he just repeats it a second time to reinforce his authority and exert that power over this lady but i still don't know when it was, it was created let's see missing J frog nope we already know that and up here complaining about Pepe Le Pew. This guy is insane right here. Uh, when was this? When did this filth? When was this filth recorded? All right, 18. It's a song from 1899. I was just a young lad at the time. Savage Saint says, I loved it when Mel Brooks slipped rack time into space balls. That whole scene in the space diner is hilarious. Mel, Mel Brooks did a lot with Looney Tunes, though, right? Or was that, yeah, he did, he did stuff with Looney Tunes. So that's. Ms. Jones is one of those see-through phones with all the neon colors inside. We weren't that rich. Thanks for rubbing that in. We also did not have inflatable furniture. We had to get whatever furniture was on clearance at the clearance store. Y'all yeah, remember those? We used, they used to be like clearance stores. Now they're called overstock.com. They used to be clearance stores. They had the ugliest stuff there. Wait, let's see. Big report says, for some reason, my mom owned an old Victorian-looking rotary phone. I felt like I was a character from <laughs> Women. 
was my aunt, one of my aunts had a the tall stand up phone with the little thing on it. That one I couldn't understand. I was like, and then you're dialing the thing. It felt like I was in that TV show Mash for some reason. Mark C says, this is like sexting back in the day. He goes, dang, my lady, let me see that ankle. Hey, that's some good, that's hot lyrics right there. Dang, my lady, let me see that ankle. Dang, my lady, let me see that ankle. Song co-written <laughs> by Pefarius Diddler Sr. Pefarious. <laughs> All we want you going is see. I had a rotary phone in the '80s. That's what I'm saying. Like they still, they still lit. Were like valid phones. When they rang, you knew it rang. It was like actual bells up in there. Those old school values. Savage says untangling, un- untangling rotary phone cords was one of my punishments when I was younger. <laughs> Still have PTSD from it. Of course, I don't ever understood that. Like, they made the core coiled, but then if you stretched it four inches too much and stretched it back, it tangled itself up. Never made any sense. I do, I do like the rotary phones though. Mark C says this ancient talk is perfect for tea time lives that you used to do. Oh, I should do that. Hello, everyone. We're, actually, I got tea right here. Bye. What the? Uh, I can be like, Hello, everyone. We're going to sip some tea and talk about rotary phones and old Victorian uh, little women. Madlodge44 says, I thought you were about to say, we didn't have inflatable furniture. We had whatever furniture we could find on the corner. I don't know. My parents told me it came from the store, but it always felt used. We used to have like these really itchy couches. Which I'm pretty sure if they were brand new, they wouldn't have been so itchy, but they were really itchy. And so it's like whenever people came to spend the night, they'd rather sleep on our hard floors instead of the couches. They'd be like, hey, you know, I'm going to take my risk with that instead of waking up with a rash. Marcus, he says, no, 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 no. I think he's quoting uh, Destiny's Child right there. Not sure. All right, what else? What else is there today? Did y'all see the uh, all the McFarlane stuff that was announced? I don't even know where to find that because I've never logged into anything on this computer. Let's see. Nope, go there. Visit there. Oh, we might be able to see it. All right, here we go. Oh, it doesn't have everything. It has some stuff. Oh, lame. I can't watch it. I can't look at anything. Let's go here. Boom. There we go. So they got uh, this guy, Captain Boomerang, was announced. Penguin was announced. Is this uh from Teen Titans? What was his name? Starfire or something like that? Star Fox? I don't know. I'm not too familiar with a lot of DC stuff. Figure report says, my childhood punishment was getting my mouth watered out with soap and water. You know, <laughs> oh, he says washed. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I was just about to say, you know, most people got their mouth washed out, but you were watered out. Like, they were like sprayed with the water hose and everything. Just like, <laughs> I was like, man, that's insane. That's, that's, that's probably pun- that's probably um child abuse now. I think a lot of stuff is child abuse now though. The itches of bed bugs and oh man, I don't like those mites. I know what you're talking about. They're the ones that live in your eyebrows. Those are the ones? That's disgusting. Demodex, demodex, demodex. Mites permanently live in your eyebrows. Oh yeah. There it is. Ah, that's gross. Mr. Jones, I can't wait for a bunch of those McFarlands. Impaler the Monarch, what's going on, man? Says, I miss the old phones. You can hang up on a fool for real. I feel like you did something, they heard you hung up. That's all passive, not even a click. There should be a hang up, like, angry hang up button that plays like a tone in the other person's ear. I need Apple to um, create that idea five years after Android has had it. That would be awesome. 
Mark Z says those McFarland DC reveals were decent. I'm happy to see Ambush, Bug, and Riddler. Soon they'll make the Diddler. Mark Z says, yeah, Starfire. There we go, Starfire. Starfire looks like an upgraded version of the final one Mattel made. I wish I could zoom in, but I'm not logged into Instagram here because I don't know my password. But <laughs> so I can't log into it to zoom in. But it does. She looks created better than some of the other female figures that it, that he's made as well. And the penguin will probably be six inches because it's in a seven inch scale, so he'll still look humongous to everyone. What do you think about that Joker mobile? I think it looks dumb. I'll be real. I don't like it. I don't even like that he announced it. I think he wasted time and money and energy on that. Starfire kind of looks like it's on the Catwoman, Batwoman torso based on the seam line in the middle. Oh, that little curve right there. Can y'all see my mouse? No. I don't know. Does she have the um, Catwoman bulge, though? Can't tell from this render, but she might have the Catwoman bulge. So if she has a Catwoman bulge, then that sucks. But if not, that's cool. And there's some Captain Carrot action right there as well. Captain Boomerang has a... Uh, Leather jacket, though. That's more leather or pleather than I ever grew up with all my furniture. Uh, Mr. Jones says, Sonny, you come to Collector Con in Houston this Saturday? The Yin Yang Twins will be there. Um, Unfortunately, I've, I've never made it to be a Yin Yang triplet. So, uh, not going to show up. Uh, I didn't know Collector Con was in Houston this Saturday, though. I will be in Houston in a few weeks. Stay tuned. I can't say why, but stay tuned. It's to drop a screwed and topped mixtape of I Love the Singer. Y'all forced it out of me. I didn't see the bulge. The bulge should be spelled that way with the ow in the middle. I put the ow in bulge. Savage Saint says, what? I tried to do that in my little John voice, but it didn't come out. <laughs> right. Collecticon. Who collects Yin Yang Twins? I don't understand who collects Yin Yang Twins. Impaler Monarch says, yeah, I'm doing all right, man. How you doing? I got that Marvel Legends Daredevil Hydro Man 2-pack. Happy about that. I really like the way that Hydro Man looks in there. I'm not a big fan of the way the daredevils painted but i hear everybody loves them Ola says it's on my buck list to get a true burger get one soon man i just heard that they're being sued or there's some sort of uh what is it called litigation is that what litigation called i can't remember what the word is uh lawsuit is the word i'm looking for true burger lawsuit let's pull that up yeah, some people are saying Trill Burger is not Bun B's idea. At the center of theft allegations. Here, let's put this up here. Bam, let's talk about some food now. Apparently, really? Don't do that to me on my live stream. They apparently, okay, let me, remember, let me try to remember the story. The original owners didn't make burgers they made something else and they decided to make a burger they got bun b out of a mutual friend they got bun b to push the burger and be like oh yeah we got a name attached to it bun b come on neiman marcus don't do this to me all right so bun b apparently took the uh burger Made it his own or whatever. And now they claim that he stole it. So if you're going to check it out, check it out soon. Mark says, I'm kind of excited for Manhunter and Tim Drake, Robin Rebirth. I didn't really like the way that one looked. Sergeant Rock is super. Superboy does look cool. Superboy, I have a feeling people are going to put um, 
Todd McFarlane's head on the Superboy body with the feet. <laughs> Savage saying, okay, I still can't do Lil John's voice. I never could. When everybody's making fun of Lil John doing that all the time, I could never do it. I'd be in the club like, yeah. And they'd be like, no, no, you didn't do it right. I'm like, oh, I, was, I, was, I was cheering for the way you did it. But now you make me feel bad. Mr. Jones says, yeah, my best friend wanted to go since we haven't gone to cons in years. And it was cheap, so he got us tickets. How, how expensive or how, what were the tickets cost? Oh, yeah. Morgan Freeman with the Tumblr. That's going to be dope. I have a strong feeling a lot of people can get it from Morgan Freeman, though. I'll, Morgan Freeman has to be good. Then you could get so you can get Morgan Freeman and make a custom Principal Joe Clark. That's what I want in life. I don't know why Yin Yang twins are gas, but whatever, dude. Apparently, it's cheap to to uh, I was gonna say cheap to rent them. It's cheap to book the Yin Yang twins. From what I understand, you get both of them for really player price. Like some people I know rented the Yin Yang twins for a show, and so I heard it was like under three thousand for both of them, which is crazy because you know. They had songs that were pretty popular. Mark G said, I thought this restaurant was doing well. That's unfortunate. It is doing well, which is why they got this issue going. Come on, Neiman Marcus. Sorry. <laughs> so this little John sounds like Skeletor or Rita Repulsa. That's what I was going for. I was going for Rita. Ray Park, Johnny Bosch, Jonathan Frakes, Brent, Brent Spiner. Charles Martinet, David Yoss, also guest. You know what? I read Johnny Bosch and I was thinking David Yoss for some reason. That's an interesting lineup. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter was here yesterday at Bad City Toys, but I didn't go. I had to go to Easter. So I don't know how that went. I, it looked like they had fun from the pictures that I saw. Even though I wasn't there, they still looked like they had fun. I think the tickets were $30. That's not bad. Scribe Drone says the other food looks like it's screaming in pain. It is. <laughs> no, uh, we didn't. We tried the burger and the fries. The fries are pretty good too. But yeah, it was. I thought it was pretty good. And Bum B was there, so that was kind of cool. Marcy says I'm gonna look for food now. Wow, 3K for Yin Yang Twins. I believe it's like 3K to to rent them. Who's this guy? Enroll now. Never. I'm not going to do college again. Sounds like fun. Hope you enjoy. What did I miss? Lucky Butter. We talked about X-Men 97. Then we talked about Diddy. Uh, we talked about Michigan J. Frog and Al Jolston. And now we're on Trill Burgers. That should sum up. Trill Burgers being sued over theft claims. Wait, Trill, Trill Burger's co-founders feud over theft claims. How are you a co-founder? You're a co-founder, so I think that's you saying you founded it with this other person. Oh, also Lucky Butter, I was wearing Easter Bunny ears for like, I don't know, 15 minutes? We'll call it 15 minutes. Oh, and Walter Jones with some YouTubers I never heard of. See, that's where I want to be. I want to be at these cons and stuff. And someone's like, who's going to be there? And be like, I don't know, some YouTubers that I've never heard of. And I want to, I just want to be one of those YouTubers that they've never heard of. Like, how difficult is that? Just to be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. He's here. We don't know who he is, but he's here. Like, I, like at Paris, Texas Con last year, I was there. I had to tell people. I'd be like, don't worry. You have no idea who I am. I'm not famous. And they're like, oh, that's a relief. I was trying to place you somewhere. I'm like, no, you've never seen me. It's all good. But since I had a table in front of me, people were like, can I can I go ahead and have your autograph anyway? I'm like, sure. I'm like, can I take a picture with you? You seem like a cool dude. You've been talking to me for 30 minutes. I go, I'm only talking to you for 30 minutes because nobody else is visiting my table. You accidentally asked for the time and had jumped into a conversation. And they're like, cool, can I have a picture? I said, that'll be $1. Impaler the Monarch says, Rap Ben had issues after Tupac and Biggie passed. Swap in Puffy and Mace. Mace turned pastor, then fast forward. Hype men doing ad libs at full albums. It's been downhill ever after. Never recovered. What? 
I, oh, I guess Lil John. Well, Lil John, it was Lil John, the East Side Boys. But then I guess, yeah, he dropped the East Side Boys part. What other hype men had? I mean, look at Tupac. He was a backup dancer. He became a rapper. Maybe that's when it all started. When they started letting backup dancers make albums. Hmm. Maybe. I'm trying to think what other hype men. Spliff Star never had an album, right? That I know of. I don't think he did. I don't know what he would rap about. Lucky Butter says, is this new angle for the setup or the final decision for background? No, this is just because I was messing with around on my kid's computer. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm over here. Let me just hook up this camera real quick. And I jumped on. Plus, I want to see what other stuff I could do when I'm not on a cell phone. I can go manipulate things and put screens next to me. That's my favorite thing to do. Put screens next to me. Because I could be like, what? I'm sorry. Did someone talk about the X-Men again? Boom, X-Men right there. I'd be like, what's that? You want to talk about Diddy again? Bam, Diddy again. Oh, I already changed that one. Okay. And be like, what's something that I love to do? I love to sing. So I'm liking this, but. You know, since I'm going to every other week, I might, I might stick around with this. This look for now, y'all can see what books that we have here. That's a football right there. If y'all can't tell, that's a football signed by some older Houston Texans football players. And for some reason, cheerleaders, someone got it for me. I didn't, I wasn't there. Um, they got it for me. I appreciate the gesture, but really wish they did not let the cheerleader sign the football. There's no reason for a cheerleader to sign a football. Because cheerleaders last maybe four years on a team, if that. And then I don't have a clue who they are. That's like getting a copy of Idiocracy signed by me. You're like, I have no idea who this guy is. He's probably never going to be in a movie again. <laughs> Jump scare again. But yeah, so it has it has some football players on there. None of the really, like, it doesn't have J.J. Watt or anything like that. But it has some. They don't play for them anymore. Mr. Jones says, what about the rumor about that dude Diddy paid to unalive Tupac and Biggie? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did that. Eminem said it. Eminem said it on that one song. Eminem was dissing Machine Gun Kelly and was like, by the way, Diddy killed Tupac. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Like he just did all all of that detective work they've been doing for years. Eminem was just like, here you go, guys. So that was nice for him to let them know. There we go, Savage Sink. That's what I was thinking of. I'm going to be honest. I was stalling because I couldn't remember what else, <laughs> what else I was trying to think of. Uh, let's see. Where is that? Where is that? Marvel Legends Iron Man. Who showed him off? Wade did, right? Unparalleled Universe. Oh, uh, no Um, I'll just go to Wade's Unparalleled Universe. Instagram. Instantgram. Here we are. All right. By the way, nobody tell Wade that I stole his stuff. I don't know if he has copyright infringement going. All right. Obviously, the star of the show is this She-Hulk right here. As you can see my cursor moving around. I think that's the better one of the whole wave. I like. Oh, I burped. <laughs> I like the old packaging style as well. That's really cool. This guy, I'm not familiar with, but he looks cool. I mean, he's basically Doctor Strange with the uh, Black Panther slash Hatut Zarate costume going right there. Uh, Whiplash looks like Zoro the Gay Blade. 
and Iron Man looks like Iron Man. I don't know that I want any more Iron Man figures, though. It's kind of like, I don't know. Like, but it says, what happened to Diddy? I keep seeing his name popping up in people's feeds. Oh, he uh, is involved in intercourse trafficking. I have to think of what's not going to trigger YouTube to cancel me. Um, he supplies drugs to minors and does a lot of bad stuff generally. He's a bad boy for life. Anybody, anybody, anybody catch that? All right, cool. Mark Z says the wave looks decent, still anticipating a Mandarin. I'm surprised there wasn't a Mandarin. I don't know what the old line looked like, though. I don't know if they had a Mandarin in that line. Iron Man armor has butterfly shoulders, so I'm happy. Does it? That's cool. I didn't realize that. Uh, Count Nefaria and Whiplash are dope additions. You know, when I saw that Count Nefaria name, I was thinking the guy from, um, oh, what is it that, uh, Minions. What is the Minions called? Despicable Me. Dr. Nefario is who I was thinking immediately. I was like, what? We got Dr. Nefario. Y'all remember Dr. Nefario? That guy. Dang it. I got to really get this camera situation going. That guy. I thought it was him. It was not him. Uh, Mark C says, hope we get Madam Mask. Let's go with Count Nefaria. Impaler Monarch says, Tupac has skills. He put out Machiavelli, Ben Rock from Naughty by Nature, and Flavor Flav hyping like Lil John, but I don't know if they had epic Machiavelli album inside them. You know, <laughs> uh, Vin actually was, or Vinny, I think, was what he went by back when he was with Naughty by Nature. He was just here in um, Austin a few weeks ago. South by Southwest. Uh, one of my homies, Smackola, um, had a show. He, or he pr- put on a show and Benny was there. Ben Rock was there. I want that She Hulk figure. That She Hulk figure looks dope. Wade said that her hair kind of gets in the way, but it's, I mean, that's what you're going to get with a female figure with plastic hair. Mark C says that I'm anticipating a modern ish She Hulk with the white purple bodysuit and the sneakers. That would be cool. Everybody's up here like, oh, they're going to put that one in Fantastic Four. That would be cool, too. I.E. Toy Hunter, what's going on, man? Nefario was the old guy. Whoa, he says that Iron Man wave is weak sauce. I like that we had Wade's smiling face right there and uh, Ryan Ting. You think it's weak sauce? The whole wave is sauce? I don't know, man. The gold Iron Man was it the Mark Mark Two? Is that the one? Mark One? The gold one? I, Wade Wade didn't put it on here. Um, unfortunately, he must be trying to sabotage my live stream. But he didn't put it on here. But I think that gold one looks pretty cool. Mark C says if they make a new War Machine, I'm down for his. Initiative armor from Dark Reign or Siege, I think, or his Iron Man 2 armor also appeared in Secret Avengers. I don't know. Why don't... Have they made a Don Cheadle head? They should make Don Cheadle head and uh, Terrence Howard head in a deluxe pack. Dang, Mr. Jones, that would be his fifth She-Hulk. I kind of want the She-Hulk MCU version. I don't know why. It's like... I don't know. For some reason, I'm just like, I kind of want that for some reason. But I, I do have the green one and the gray one. I think I opened the gray one. Yeah. Some people thought the She-Hulk was on the Power Princess body, but She-Hulk looks a bit more muscular than Power Princess, though. I still haven't seen that Power Princess in person. You know, I do like the She-Hulk bent gun that she comes with. That's kind of cool. It's a cool little accessory. Now nobody can be like, oh, y'all just reusing weapons. 
Because they have, well, I take it back. G.I. Joe has tons of bent guns. They come with bent guns all the time. Uh, so they might just be uh, from the G.I. Joe mold of a bent gun. Because if you have any G.I. Joes, you know, they come with bent guns. Mark C says, Sauce with Sunny. Actually, I was uh, talking with some of the people from uh, City Hall, and they were like, hey, we should do this show where you interview different people in the city of Austin and eat hot sauce. And I was like, what? I was like, that sounds disgusting. And they're like, no, 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 because, you know, Texas and Austin, they deal with salsa and stuff, and you should you should eat hot sauce with different people. And I was like, that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. And they're like, no, no, there's already a show that does it with hot wings. And I was like, what? And I was like, okay, maybe I'll look past my disdain for uh, condiments and try it. But nothing came from it, so I don't have to eat no sauce. If they were just like, hey, Sonny, here's different types of gravy. Maybe I'll do that. Call it, it's all gravy with Sonny. Oh, they made a legally distinct Don Cheadle face. Now I want the whole head. You know what's crazy? I thought Don Cheadle was uh, British for like a while before I was like, oh, this guy's not British at all. Mr. Jones said, I think in that Hulkbuster wave on that war machine with the open mask. See, I thought there was one, but I wasn't sure. Mark C says, so like hot ones. Yeah, like hot ones. I didn't had never seen the show before they pitched that idea to me. I was like, that doesn't make sound like it'll work. And I'm like, oh, it totally works. Perry Little Monarch says, that's type of was out there. I love their thirst, their first three albums. I was never a huge Naughty by Nature fan. I did kind of read into uh Tretch having beef with uh Heiji though. Oh, Reverend Sumford preaching on those bent up jail guns. <laughs> They're, uh, you know which guns I never had come bent? Valiverse. Why? They're way better than Hasbro. No, I'm just joking. Uh, no, actually, though, their guns are dope, though. I do, I do appreciate the Valiverse guns. Then there, I haven't had them bent. So, whatever plastic they're using, they need to let Hasbro in on the secrets. Don Cheeto is African, I think. I believe he is because he's black. I think he's African. You mean like African, like from Africa? I'm a, I'm a looking on my phone. Let me check that. Don Cheeto. Don Cheeto. Because even his name to me, for some reason, looks um, British. Okay, so, oh, wow, Don Cheadle, Donald Frank Cheadle was born in Kansas City, Missouri, so he's African-American, you're half right, Don Cheadle is half, is African-American, uh, let's see, his mother, Betty, was a teacher, his father, Donald Frank Cheadle Sr., was a clinical psychologist. Why are these actors, every actor and actress, whenever I read about them, they're always like, oh, their mom was this blue collar worker. Oh, she worked at a muffler factory. And their dad was an astrophysicist. You're like, what? How is this a thing? Like, that's so weird. Like, so, so bizarre. But yeah, his dad was a clinical psychologist. He graduated from Denver, Colorado. Then he went to California for college. I have not yet read that he has even visited Africa at this point. Donald Cheadleson with the teleho. <laughs> Don is from Nigeria, Cameroon, to be exact. His dad. Is his dad from there? I can't read. It doesn't have much more on his dad. Oh, his roots, I mean. Oh, okay. Clockwork Gorgeous, what's going on, man? 
suddenly starting to sound like a disappointed parent. <laughs> Hope this Scarlet fi- Spider isn't going to be a problem to find. I haven't. It, so I saw it at GameStop. Um, GameStop had a fresh batch. I see people show it popping up in Walmart's and Targets right now. I know it's hitting Texas all over the place. Uh, but hopefully, yeah, hopefully, I don't think it'll be a problem to find. I mean, because it's, it's coming, GameStop got like a case pack. Like, dude was like, oh, we just got a box of those. So, I don't know if it was four in there. That's how many that's on the shelf. But I think it's a single case pack for that particular Scarlet Spider. Impaler the Monarch says, check out Yoke the Joker off the first album, Naughty by Nature. That song was tight, man. Okay. So I have heard Tretch beyond Naughty by Nature on different stuff. He's pretty good. I think Eminem said that that's his favorite rapper, if I'm not mistaken. I think he said it was Tretch. Yeah, Tretch is in his list of favorite rappers. Savage Saint says, are you really fact checking Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jones? Uh, we've been doing this too long for that. He gave us Mariah Gold. His word is good enough ever since in my mind. <laughs> oh, check it out. Mr. Jones got Scarlet Spider, Tombstone, and Jack from Amazon last week. That Tombstone looks amazing. I've been seeing people post it. I think my Angel and Kilowag come in tomorrow from Amazon. The Angel looks cool, too. Has <laughs> Oh, man. I uh, wish I just deleted this comment. Has the Texans custom bull got some love this week? Not a single one. <laughs> oh, man. Has not seen the light of day since uh, I first showed. Well, since I first... I last showed it on the live stream. I haven't done anything with it. Uh, that track might be why Tretch is very yoke. The Joker was raw. I have to check it out. I like listening to some old school stuff. Speaking of old school stuff, I have picked up... Uh, I found... What did I find? Um, Feral Monch's album. I found one cheap. So I bought it. Because I never really listened to him too much back in the day. But... He's a torque collector. He's like, I got to check out this stuff. It's pretty good, although it does have that old school, like not old school, but that 90s, early 2000s feel to it. And Clock Record says, I think Redman is always on Eminem's list of favorite rappers. Yeah, so his favorite rappers are Redman, LL Cool J, Nas, Joyner, Kendrick, Cole, Andre, Rockin, and Kane, Lil Wayne, Tupac, Royce the Five Nine, one of my favorite rappers, Jay Z, Redman, Tretch, Cool G Rap, Biggie, and King Crooked. Man, it's kind of messed up. Like Eminem had Slaughterhouse, like he signed them to Shady Records, which had Royce the Five Nine, Crooked Eye, Joel Ortiz, and Joe Budden. He was like, some of my favorite rappers, and he named two of them from that group. Which I know him and Joe Budden got beef, so he's not going to say Joe Budden's his favorite rapper. But Joel Ortiz is probably sitting there like, yeah, I didn't get named. If y'all don't know, Joel Ortiz says that for some reason. Mr. Jones says, the only issue with Tombstone is his head and neck or one skull. But that's a non-issue for me. I've seen folks complaining, though. That That's always a weird thing. I don't like that. Some 5K toys come like that, too. I'm not a big fan. When they have the neck connected to the head. I don't know. I don't like it. Because you don't get a whole lot of range from that. Um, Mesco just did that with... Was it Prune Face? I think Prune Face has the neck head thing. Savage Saints says, got in my turtles and two woolly packs this week. I've been way too busy to open anything. Those turtles look amazing. Keep seeing everybody post pictures of them. Yeah, those those turtles are dope. I'm saying that I don't even have them. 
I might just do a review of people's pictures with them. <laughs> I might be like, look how amazing these turtles look. This guy really knows what he's doing. Now, look how amazing these turtles look. This guy pulls them horribly. He should just sell them for retail costs. By the way, people are selling those for like seven to eight hundred dollars right now. It's like, man. I think a lot of people skipped on them because the articulation didn't look that good in the first promo photos. I think if they had better promo photos, more people would have would have jumped on them the first time around. But now everybody's scrounging to try to pick them up. Mark C says Jadakiss. I never really got the appeal of Jadakiss being one of the greatest. I think it's okay, but when he calls himself Kiss, I'm like, don't do that. Miss Joe says, oh, I also got Sabretooth and Wolverine last week. M loves Pharaoh too. M and M should start collecting toys and then we can become toy homies. What Pharaoh Mount album did you get? Excited for external affairs. I got internal affairs. <laughs> so because I was like, that one's coming out. Let me get the first one. So I did get the uh let me pull it. Let me. Uh, let's see. By the way, if y'all don't follow Feral Monch, he's a cool dude. Uh, he posts toy pics all the time in his stories and sometimes on his regular page as well. Clockwork Gorge says, that's a classic. Yeah, I never, like I said, I mean, I've heard of him. I just never, uh, picked up any of his music and I was like I should pick up his pick up that album you know show the guy support for his rap career I hope that he goes and picks up Idiocracy now no but uh uh I was just like oh yeah let me let me go and pick up that first one since the second one the external affairs is coming out Anyone picking up Tigra from Frazetti Girls? I pre-ordered Tigra. Is that the? I think that's the one. I'm not getting that one, but uh, let's see. Okay, just a heads up. If you just put in Tigra, I don't know. Whatever came up looks like it's probably inappropriate. Uh, it actually says it's in stock already somewhere. So this is what you're talking about. I think uh, who was it? Someone posted pictures of this already. Was it um, Jason B. Michael or One Six Shooter? One of them posted. It looks pretty good. Although the articulation looks a little bit limited, uh, single jointed elbows and just boob swivel. But it, does, I mean, the the sculpt of it looks pretty good, and she comes with a Black Panther. Let's see, Impaler Monarch says Tiger. That's a character from Fire and Ice. That's what came up. I wasn't familiar with it, so I know Fire and Ice is also made by Trojan. And I was like, whoa, I'm not clicking. Because it said Tigra, Fire and Ice. And I was like, I'm not clicking that one at all. Because uh, I know what Fire and Ice does. By the way, if you ever um, wrap it up, guys, play safe. <laughs> Whatever they say. Uh, if you haven't had, if you haven't tried those Fire and Ice by Trojan, um, don't. It's horrible. Especially if you put them on wrong. You're like, did I get ice or fire? Because it's burning. And if it burns the next day, you should go see a doctor. Hopefully it still has the range despite the single joints. I don't think it would. Clark Gordon says, Tigra gets sunny flashbacks from his career as an adult actress photographer days. <laughs> Play safe. There you go. Never go to war without a helmet. Yes, never go to war without a helmet. We'll we'll say that. That's my good deed for the day. Keeping babies out of this world. Is this uh is this boss was it boss fight studios who made this? Who made this one? Or is it the Frizzetti Frizz girls? 
what is it? I'm all confused now. Uh, Frazetta Girls. Is that who it is? Who made it? Look. Here's the back of the image, the back of the figure. In case, uh, in case y'all were wondering, she is wearing a thong. The Tigra King. <laughs> Joe Exotic. Imperial Monarch says, that cartoon tidy would like Conan. Check it out. Frank Frazetti drew those novel covers and did Fire and Ice with animator Ralph Bakshi. It's tight. I might try to do that. I might try to check those out. I need to start looking at more stuff. Frazetta Girls line. They're the ones that did the recent Conan, right? That Conan looks good, but I think Mezco beat it. Boss Fight Studios put out the Epic Hacks blank recently. That's right. They, they put those up. Those look cool, too. I like the gray ones because they look like robots. The blanks, not women, for real. But didn't they just put out that... Um... Oh, this one's showing different details. This one detail? I don't know. You can see that, too. Look, this must this must be the ice version. Weak, weak, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, ice version. Right in here is telling me it's the ice version. Ah, where's my mouse at? There we are. Did you get the kid and arsenal pack in yet? Not yet. It's in the loot. Uh, those blanks look awesome. Price us too. Yeah, the, the the blanks are pretty affordable. Let's go ahead and uh, bring those up next. I like this because I don't feel like I'm just making y'all imagine things. Because like before I could show y'all stuff that I'm talking about, I just be like, okay, picture, picture, uh, picture a person. Okay, picture a person. Uh, picture them with uh. A, a very generic face, all right, all right, cool. No clothes, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Butterfly joints, picture butterfly joints, please. But now I can just be like, here you go. Boom, it's right there. Oh, Big Bad Toy Store. Ah, dang, Big Bad Toy Store is charging a lot for this Tigra. Here we are right here. I mean, you get quite a bit with it, though. So there she is, panties and bra, ice version with the stick so that uh, the black cat can uh, play fetch. There she is standing again, still scared. There she is with a knife about to sacrifice the Black Panther for her village. There she is again. She decided not to. Here she is with scantily clad Victoria's Secret shawl and crotch cover. Oh, that's it. Oh, there she is going to sacrifice the cat again. I don't know. That range looks very limited. They're not doing hardly anything with her. And she goes with bald versions of her head as well. If you like that look. If you like the look of a strong woman with bald head. Ep. Ep, ick, oh, epic. Wait, hacks is what's spelled with <laughs> the periods, right? Hacks. Yeah, twenty bucks for those. It's good price. I want the blanks. Can't buy any yet. Well, you can't buy them yet because you got to pre-order them. And let's just point out the thick thighs on this one. This is, this, is it me or is the thigh sticker? But see, they could have put a band right there. So if you're looking at the articulation, she has boob articulation. Oh, it looks like she does have waist articulation. Oh, man. It's a game changer right there for 20 bucks. That's not bad at all. She comes with a superhero head, a uh, Karen head, a uh, don't talk about my woman head, and then Captain Marvel head. So she comes with good variety. Impaler Monarch says Frank Mazetta drew pretty females as an influence. 
or he has the influence on my drawing and sculpting. One of his daughters is pretty when I saw her on a promo on FB. I almost misread promo. Thought it said something else. I'm glad I didn't screw it up. But one of his daughters runs his museum because I was looking into his museum one time. I like looking. I like going to museums because I'm fancy. I'm a thespian. So I like going to museums. But I looked into his museum. One of his daughters runs it, which is pretty cool. Lucky Butter says, who's making this figure? Tigra figure is, who did I say that was? Frazetti Girls, that's who it was. This figure is Boss Fight Studio. But it looks pretty good. It looks better than their some of their other figures, I will say. And for 20 bucks, it's not a bad price at all. And then you get dudes, too. A real muscular dude, got him. How much is that Tigra figure? The Tigra figure was eighty nine ninety nine on Big Bad Toy Store, but I saw it somewhere else that it was seventy bucks. Where is it at? Seventy. I saw it somewhere so it was seventy bucks. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Well, but Big Bad Toy Store has it for $89.99. Sonny said, hacks with the flim. <laughs> Just going to do that a bunch of times. Uh, here we go. Again, it comes with the superhero head. comes with the uh, Josh Dumel head. comes with the Walter Jones head. And looks like young Pierce Brosnan head. And comes with feet and regular boots. Fists and open hands and grabby hands. Holding hands. There he is. So if you want a chocolate man, here's your best chance to get him. Although, like I said, I like the gray ones. They look like robots. This one's going to be cool, too. Red. Sonia. See, Mark Z says, yeah, ball waist joints on both of them. Man, that's dope. Fun fact, Clockwork Orgy says, Jim Lee used Rosetta's anatomy book as reference for his art. So he plagiarized, I see. He he copied, just like Bun B did with Trill Burgers. I want the red Sonja they have with the epic hacks. Yeah, that one looks dope, man. In fact, it's a lot cheaper than the, um, what's the other one I'm thinking? The guy that did, or the studio that did uh, Monster Hide. I have, like, some of their figures. I don't know why I don't know the name. Um, some, like, I thought it was Mexican dude, but he lives, like, in the Philippines. God, what is the company's name? Loose Collector. I'm pretending like I, I, I remembered, but I saw Marcus E. pop up. Loose Collector. <laughs> loose Collector is what I was thinking of. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper than the Loose Collector. And it's uh, double-jointed elbows. Loose Collector. I don't know if it's going to be double-jointed elbows. The figures that I have from Loose Collector, I think Heck Witch. We're called Heck Witch because we don't want... Uh, Facebook to hit us for that one. She's single jointed elbow, I think. Is she? She might be double jointed. Her range is kind of limited, but this one looks cool. Mr. Jones says, Why you gotta be chocolate? Can't be Nutella. They have the Nutella man. Here's the Nutella man right here. Is this not the color of Nutella? Maybe this peanut butter. We'll call that guy peanut butter. Look how he jumps. Fun fact, that's the way I jump whenever it's uh, intimate time with the wife. Jump in the bed just like that. Both legs up, so I miss the bed. Savage Saint says, I know I'm old I know I'm old as dirt, but I remember a lot of vans driving around with Frazetta type paintings on the side of them or on spare tire cases growing up. Classic stoner mobiles. Dude. 
No, that happened. That still happens to this day. Oh man, all I see is ph ph ph. Are you doing the flag? The the uh, Filipino flag. My cousin actually just came back from the Philippines. Uh, he married someone out there, and then he came back to America, and he's doing paperwork so that she can fly to America and they can be married in America as well. Because I didn't know, but if you get married in a different country, America's like, we don't care. That's not us. But yeah, so it's kind of weird, but it's not it's not weird that he married a Filipino girl. It's weird that their marriage doesn't count here in America. I'm like, so if I go to a different country with my wife and they're like, who's this? I can't be like, she's my wife. I'd be like, we're dating back in America. We're married. It's kind of weird. Like, oh, we don't recognize that here. You gotta say your vows in Tagalog nailed it i'd probably didn't nail it i nailed it for myself okay that to me i did say that pretty good i didn't say tagalog i said tagalog i tried i tried my best y'all marcus he says bro what kind of nutella are you i don't eat nutella i'm not fancy like that i eat jiff just choosy moms choose jiff nutella's fancy like provolone cheese yeah, i can only do one fancy thing at a time so as soon as I run out of provolone cheese, I maybe I'll try some Nutella out. Clockwork Gorge says, interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. It's kind of weird. Mr. Jones says, I worked with this lady who was married to her wife in another state when they moved to Texas. <laughs> uh, it's not the same. Not, I guess it is kind of the same. No, because it's not the same. Because they can't. They still, at that time, couldn't get married to te- married in Texas. Clockwork Gorge says he's based there, then went to the Philippines to marry the girl. Uh, no, he's not based there. He's uh, based in East Austin. Uh, he, I met her online, and they chit-chatted for quite some time, and then he found out it's a real person. And so they were going to get married. So he went over there to get married. Went over there. He said he went over there for two weeks. They did all the paperwork. He met her family and stuff. Uh, he said he felt like a baller over there. And then they, he came back for a bit and then went over there for a week because the license would expire after a certain amount of time. And then he, um, then he married her. Then he got married. So then he came back to America and America was like, nope, doesn't work like that here. You're still single, dude. And so it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of weird. Tagalongs, <laughs> girls got cookies, not the language. Hey, I just got some of those. They're pretty good. <laughs> ah, Mr. Jones got me. I do eat H-E-B, Hill Country Fair peanut butter. Didn't count. No, it didn't count. Didn't count at all. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, my cousin's not watching. He's too busy playing Call of Duty. And I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> I don't get to play Call of Duty that much. I actually haven't played video games in quite some time. I want to see what this is right here. What scale is this? 118th? That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, 118th. Not so cool anymore. This guy looks cool. I don't know. The, the different color skeletons are kind of weird okay the vitruvian hacks are 118 scale and epic hacks are 112 like i always gotta remember that but yeah so the epic hacks look pretty cool clock record says hope she ain't no gold digger that's a thing mm, i don't know he did say what i mentioned zoro the gay blade earlier and it came up right there Zoro the gay. They have Zoro the gay blade figure. <laughs> Dude, he's a hack. Is oh, he's one eighteenth scale. My mom showed me that movie one time. I was like, Mom, I don't understand what this movie's about. She's like, That's his gay cousin. And I was like, Is this your way of telling me I have a gay cousin? I still don't understand why she showed it to me. It was a good movie. Was, I like the movie though. 
I don't remember a whole lot of it, but I remember liking it though. I've seen it a few times. Uh, but yeah, they got Zoro the Gay Blade, and that's pretty cool. Uh, although he did say that he took like a thousand bucks down there to the Philippines, and when they swapped out the money, he was like, "Dude, the way they looked at me, like if I was the richest person they'd ever seen." I was like, "That's insane." But he's like, "Everything's cheap." He bought three pigs for the wedding. I'm like. I, I think I bought tuna salad for my wedding. Mr. Jones says, one of my exes was from the Philippines. I like that Manny Pack. Y'all ran for president. Mad Lodge 44 says, that movie's the best. Right? It's a good movie. I like that movie. I got to watch it again. I haven't seen it like since I was a kid. But uh, it was like, because <laughs> my mom, one time she showed me a, a movie about like a kid that got kidnapped. And I was like, oh, is this your way of telling me I shouldn't be kidnapped? And then when she showed me his old gay blade, I was like, I must have a gay cousin somewhere. And I did. But she was like, no, 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 that's my friend. That's my friend. <laughs> this is my friend. And I'm like, what? Tu madre san gorda, he said. Que movie? I missed it. It's a uh, Zorda gay blade. It's from like the 80s, I think. When was this movie? <laughs> I just, I didn't have no idea they had figures of it. I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't care. This is, gold costume looks dope. I'd rock a gold Zoro costume if I had one. Zoro the Gay Blade. Oh, uh, let's see. When did it come out? 1981. I was born in 83. And my mom had me watch it two years after it came out. No, I'm just kidding. It was it wasn't two years. I saw it when I was like five or six or something. One bit, two bits, three bits, a peso, all for Zorro. <laughs> Set up and say so. George Hamilton played Zorro. But yeah, if you haven't seen that movie, go check it out. I really wish that we could do copyrighted stuff. I would play the movie right now. Yeah, Mr. Jones says, yeah, I know things are cheap. A lot of comic book publishers seek out Filipino artists because the rates are super low and the conversion comes into play. Yeah, the conversion, he said, was insane. He said he took a thousand and when they converted it, it was like 55,000 pesos or something like that. It's like, dang, that sounds baller. Mark Z says, I've lost how many times Sonny said gay. <laughs> what if face, what, I mean, what if YouTube's all like, well, we don't know what you're talking about, but you keep saying gay, so we're going to go and limit your monetization. I'm like, ah, oh, YouTube are being hateful. Ms. Jones says, a lot of times you'll see Filipino artists post commission prices for their art online. It seems dirt cheap in American money. I have seen that before. Dumadrasnagordadi said, you were born in 83. I didn't know we were the same age. We are. I turned 40 last year. I sipped a 40 for my first time. Nah, I don't sip 40s. Beer is gross. I don't do beer. I drink liquor like an alcoholic. Mm -mm -mm. This isn't liquor. This is sweet tea. But it's from Texas, so it's pretty strong. It's like 14 proof. But yeah, I'm a 40-year-old uh, dinosaur now at this point. Actually, we talked about rotary phones earlier, man. You missed it. And for those that don't know what rotary phones are, Marcus Yee. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see if I can find my rotary phone that I had. So our rotary phone was... I'm going to type in... We had that state-of-the-art color. Beige. Beige rotary phone. There we go. I think that's my rotary phone right there. This might have been the one that we actually had in our house. No, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Nope. That's also not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Our rotor phone looked just like this one. I can't get my hand right. There we go. Mr. Jones says, Sonny drank the MD-20 while listening to the loonies on his 40. <laughs> ah, 
I am BT. Oh, I like that. I'm gonna make that. Stealing that idea the way Bun B stole Trill Burger. We had that phone, but in yellow, says Mr. Jones. Now we had this nasty beige color right there. I remember our phone number for it was uh <laughs> Look at my Nutella colored rotary phone. That's right. Nutella. Is Nutella not that color? I'm so lost. The mother son Gordon says, Oh, you had a fancy phone, man. If you want to call it that. <laughs> it wasn't that fancy. It actually said uh, uh, Southwestern Bell across it. I think it might have been a sticker, but then we had an Elmer Fudd sticker on the side. Like right here. Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. Oh, now my mouse doesn't show up. Yeah, there we go. We had an Elmer Fudd sticker on the side. Great phone. I loved dialing it like one was cool. But then we hit that zero. We hit zero. And then it came back around. But yeah, it says Southwestern Bell. Might have been a sticker, and then we had the handset. But this color, right? This part of the phone was darker for some reason. It was like it was like it it got dirty faster. Or they used a different cheap plastic. Sunny Beauty, not Nutella. Diet Nutella? <laughs> diet Nutella. They make diet Nutella. I don't even. I don't like diet anything. When people say I'm on a diet, I unfriend them. Oh, snap. I need to get this phone. Oh, I thought I said ITT Tech. It says IST. Oh, no. It says NT. Northern Telecom. Northam Telecom. Patented 1968 and 1970. Doesn't seem far enough ago. Oh, wait. What does it say? Uh, Looney's Bootlegs and B-Sides has some tight beats on it. I I got a someone mix a Tupac and Fifty Cent. Uh, I got five on it. That's a dope song. I don't know what the original songs were, but they had the MC on it. it. Sounds pretty good. Nutella's brown. What is it not brown? I don't know. Now I now y'all gonna make me go look up Nutella. Nutella. Oh wow, Nutella's like chocolate. How did I never know this? All right, who's up for some Nutella? Let's see some Nutella. All right. Nutella is brown. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Mr. Jones, you're right. Once again on this live stream, that man is the Nutella man, not a chocolate man. Savage Saint says, don't talk about science, man. And Donald... <laughs> And Dino Talk summons Joey B. Pretty sure he just got an alert. <laughs> I was going to ask him to be on the show. I forgot. I should have hit him up. Dang, girl, you can rotary my phone any day. Hey, 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 watch it. YouTube's, YouTube's listening, man. Can't, can't be talking dirty like that. That's a ditty line right there. That's a ditty, that's a ditty line. Start, start that hashtag ditty line. Savage Saint already brought in hashtag no ditty. Imperial of the Monarch says that's the kind of phone you can hang up and meet it. Exactly, because that bell hits. Bah! You hit that hard enough, you hear a bell ring. I'm saying it's brown, not the color of that phone. <laughs> it's brown. Yeah, it's not Nutella. It's dying Nutella. I despise Nutella. My youngest kid discovered it a month ago and is addicted. I, I don't I've never had it. I don't know if I've ever had it. I don't think I've ever had it. What is this on toast? You put jelly in it? I don't understand. Your mom switching to tell it with peanut butter. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her, man. She likes scooping out Nutella. I'm keeping this. Give something the peanut butter from H E B. Mark C says, Tomato Son Gorda dice. Oh wait, no, he didn't say that. Mark C said basically Sunny Thumb Nutella was near Caucasian tongue. <laughs> When we were looking at the Boss Fight Studio Epic Hacks Blanks. I mean, I'm still... It might be. No. Are we all squared away? It's not Nutella-toned. 
Diddy <laughs> Oh, it is chocolate. So it's chocolate based with hazelnut. I see, because hazelnut would be like Caucasian. Ca <laughs> Savage says it's chocolate hazelnut confirmed. Mr. Jones said it has to be. Caucella. <laughs> Caucella. That would be my uh, stripper name. If I decide to start stripping, I'd go by Carkella. I'd be like, what's that mean? I look like a Caucasian fella, Carkella. And they'd be like, oh, okay. And then they'd be wondering, he said he looks like a Caucasian fella. Is that because he is? And then I could still do YouTube because nobody would be able to know my secret identity. I actually think strippers have better secret identities than uh, superheroes. I said that, and I believe it. Oh, what time is it? 12.13. All right, we'll roll to 12.30 tonight since we got 16 viewers. 16 viewers today. Look, y'all like this right here? I put a monitor right there for my kid, and then he was like, I think I just want a regular desk with two monitors on it. So now, now I just have that bolted to my wall. Sounds like a festival. Car <laughs> Carcella sounds like a racist festival. <laughs> Sunny Carcella, aka. <laughs> this is a chocolate spread. I would be white spread. Man, come to the stage now. White spread, ladies, get your dollars ready. And I come out, poor, poor Melton Nutella on me. Oh, love that, ladies. Someone's going to see this live stream and be like, dude, I'm totally stealing that idea. I'm like, dang it. Ah, should have went for it first. <laughs> Girth spread. I'm going to start saying that you got to spread it across the entire girth of the bread. You don't get the full girth. What's the point? That's that's probably also gonna get Facebook to be like, look, or YouTube to be like, look, man, I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> cloaca spread. If you say cloaca three times, Joey B is gonna pop in, and he's gonna be like, Mexico sucks, and I'm be like, stop saying that, dude. Stop it. No, it's cool to have people that disagree and agree with with different stuff that way y'all can have a, a nice discussion not like flat earth versus round earth that discussion always gets really weird because you get people like science other people like conspiracy he's definitely gonna appear <laughs> oh tuck a cloaca i'm I, that's what you do with cloacas if i'm not mistaken though so that's very accurate Mr. Jones is on a roll. <laughs> that is also accurate. <laughs> there needs to be a disgusted stank face emoji because WTF. There should be. Hmm. Mesco sucks and Moffix is the best. Haha. -ha. That would be a back double backhand. <laughs> I don't know if he collects Moffix though. Now that I think about it. I don't think he does. Should I say the the word again to summon him? No, he might be he might be Mimis right now. Oh man, I just got a notification from Otter Lovers. They sent me a photo of a adorable otter. One of these days I'm gonna own some otters and I'll have them on the live stream with me. And y'all be like, where'd you get that one? I'll be like, I know a guy. I wish, I wish, wish that the crackheads I knew were more useful and I could put word out there, be like, I'm looking for an otter. And then they'll come back to me like in four days or six days and be like, hey, man, I I know a guy that got an otter. It fell off a truck. I'm like, oof, how much we talking? And they're like, $400. I'm like, I'll give you $1.87. They're like, $300. 
I'll be like, I'll give you $27. They'll be like, $200. I'll like, give you $100. They'll be like, make it one one We got a deal. And bam, I got me an order for $101. Then I'll be like, oh, crap. I probably need a pool. I'll be like, hey, crackhead, you know a pool? You know a pool guy? Just mention anything you like. Enjoy being phase into existence. Tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> Man, Tucker Cloaca is actually the name of a little shuffle step that he does. <laughs> Oh man, that was actually gonna be the title of the No Way Home, the No Way Out label, or what? No Way Out li- album. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Jones says, "Oh no, don't own otters. They're cute, but they're terrible creatures." I know about the raping of carcasses. I'm aware of that. But if we can still jam, can't nobody hold me down by Diddy. We gotta overlook the the otters habits to mother's not gorda this is in gainies you're classified as an otter what i thought they were bears i'm so confused i'm so behind on the times of terminology look let's put wrinkles on top of my head by doing this i didn't know that was possible Why does Tuck Lukwaka sound like a band a band name? It should be. It should be a band name. People be like, what does that mean? You don't, you don't want to know. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes. I'm well aware. I did a book report in uh, it's sometime between fourth and sixth grade. And I mentioned that that's one of their pastimes. And my teacher was like, take that out. And I was like, no, that's, that's what they do. <laughs> it's like, it's what happens. Bears are larger and hairy. I had a friend of mine who one time in an argument with someone else, I heard him say, if I was gay, I'd be a bear. And I'm like, what? I thought y'all were going to fight. What is going on right here? Bear subsections, otter. Oh, okay. Is Diddy, <laughs> is Diddy an otter that predates straight men? I don't think he does. Don't ruin, don't ruin my my otter, my love for otters <laughs> by bringing the Diddy into them. I would name a, an otter Diddy. What are your otters' names? That's Diddy, that's R. Kelly, and that's uh, Bill Cosby. Oh, <laughs> I just saw that. That's horrible. That's horrible that both people, two people thought of that. Diddy R. Kelly and Bill Cosby walk into a bar. Bill Cosby's probably dissolving some bar into someone's drink. Diddy is a top and Pastor T.D. Jakes is a power bottom if the rumors are to be believed. Uh, Pastor T.D. Jakes said that that was, uh, what is it called? AI? No, what is it called? Deep face? Deep facing? Is it called deep face? Deep fake. Deep fake. So it's deep fake video. Uh <laughs> diddle. Marcus. Yeah, I don't know where this is going either, Marcus. Let's get a picture of otters up here. Why are there otters up right now? Otters. I actually saw otters in the wild in California. It was awesome. And that's when I was like, yep, I definitely need to own an otter. Bam, let's get some otters up in here. All right. You can't you can't look at their face and be like, I would never never want to be associated with these animals. I will name one of them Nutella just to do it. And the leak meek mill tape. I don't believe Meek Mill anything because he used to have a Z at the end of his name and he dropped it for no reason. I named my otter Bombada. Like Africa Bombada? This Jones says, or whatever rapper that was. Yeah, it was Meek Mill. I just don't like that he dropped a Z. Makes no sense. But if you're going to be a bottom, uh, be a bottom beat to be a power bottom. 
that's what I named my uh, my my list for 2023. The power bottom list. <laughs> Pure evil right there. That's what I'm saying. Look at those faces. Look at those faces. Am I looking the right way? Yeah. Dude, that's what I was wondering. How come nobody's asked Fonsworth Bentley anything about Diddy? Like, did he sign him to secrecy? Is he on the island of Genosha right now with Diddy? So if y'all don't know, Fonsworth Bentley used to hold Diddy's umbrella back when he was called Puff Daddy. Nobody's talked to him. Nobody talked to him? I can't believe that. Fonsworth. I remember when I was younger, I was like, why would you why would you want to just be known for holding an umbrella? And then someone told me how much money he makes. And I was like, oh, all right, I totally see that. Oh, speaking of where was Olu? Was it Olu? No, no, no. It was uh in Pale of the Monarch. You were talking about uh hype men that started singing. Fonsworth Bentley had a had an album, I think. I think he dropped an album. Fonsworth Bentley album. Yeah, he dropped an album for some reason. I don't even know what the reason was. I don't know how, how many rhymes you can rhyme with Umbrella. Rihanna did it, but she was very successful. Mark Z says, I like the super fluffy ones, like the video of the mama otter catching her baby when it rolled off a pier. It's messed up. Don't let your babies play around mirrors. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Joseph's PB and J Otter uncut. The the gritty reboot. Like Conan Bombada. Yes, sir. My otter likes young otters too much. <laughs> Best to be a oh hold this umbrella. You don't want to know how he was able to make it. <laughs> That's true. I don't. Oh, man. Ella, Ella, Ella. I remember when that song came out. I'm like, this is a dumb song. Also didn't listen to the lyrics. I just heard Umbrella, Ella, Ella. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to hear this song. Like, everybody's going crazy over that Beyonce song. They're like, I hate it. She's ruining country music. She should have never made it. I'm like, she's from Texas. She can make whatever country music she feels like making. I don't think it's a good song, but that's just me. To be fair, though, there's never been a Beyonce song where I'm like, this is an amazing song. Hey, let's pull up Beyonce. The video is stupid. Have y'all seen the video? It's dumb. Country song. What's it called? Texas Hold'em. Is it called Texas Hold'em? I think it's called Texas Hold'em. And it's just her, like, with this metal shiny thing. Let me show y'all. I'll show y'all. There we go. It's just this, uh, uh, a looped clip of her in this gear right here. And she's uh, making people mad. The song's dumb, though. Mace tried to warn everyone. I don't think he did. I think he was uh, down for it. Beyonce's in her yeehaw era. The way I see it is like she makes, she's not making music for country music fans. She's making music for her fans. So I don't really get the hate for it. Beyonce, you mean Bianca? Is that her? That's not her real name, is it? I don't know. I can't see. I could see her as a Bianca. Oh, I see. That's how it would be pronounced. Miss Joseph, I never liked her. I preferred when it was Destiny's Child. She's from H Town too, like you. Did you go to school with her? The question in the bottom corner says, "Why is this song number one?" Because it's from Beyonce. Stupid. Well, that's dumb questions. Pointy finger. I actually had to relook. I thought that hand was missing some fingers, but it's not. But yeah, people mad. I'm like, she didn't make this for you. That's not what she made it for. 
So whatever success she gets, she gets that success. Stop trying to just randomly take away people's success. I mean, they can't. She has like billions and billions. Now, Diddy could take away her success. Heard some things about her and Jay-Z, but, you know, it is what it is. We'll find out once uh, the tapes come out and stuff. Beyonce's up there with J-Lo for me. I hate them both. Beyonce's mom's hair salon was down the street from my old, from my cousin's old tattoo shop. I don't know. J-Lo kind of ruined it when she became Selena. I was kind of upset. I was like, why is that happening? But now I know it's because Diddy told her to play Selena. So she had no choice. Uh, speaking of Diddy, bam, Diddy. I'm just going to just bring that up randomly at times. Oh, we got two minutes. We might as well just end on this Diddy note. Um, I don't know Diddy. He doesn't know me that I know of. But he's totally guilty. Unless they say he's not, then he wasn't. Or if he says, hey, Sonny, I want to sign you to a contract with Bad Boy and doing stand-up comedy. And I'll be like, man, you know what? You didn't do it. You didn't do it, did he? I totally believe you, man. They were probably all 40 years old or older. Did he? <laughs> oh, Mr. Jones. Well played. Well played. Why should they not remake Biddy Biddy Bomb Bomb to Diddy Diddy Bomb Bomb? <laughs> it's amazing that she never did that. Sonny, it's not even Halloween. Stop doing the jump scares. That's just the Diddy. It's just the Diddy in you. That that didn't sound right either. Because the Diddy in yeah. What was he going in for in that shot? Uh. I guess he was seducing underage people at the time. Hashtag he did it. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did he. Don't take that deal. <laughs> no, but <laughs> I don't know, man. They they got some crazy things out there. Uh, they say celebrities doing some wild stuff, so you know he probably did do it, but. He was sexting T.D. Jakes, says Mr. Jones. Again, uh, T.D. Jakes came out right away. I was like, hey, man, I didn't do that. I like, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. You never know. You never know what people these days. You know? Um, why he posed like that? I don't know. Same with an album cover. But... I mean, he did make good songs as Puff Daddy. I will say that. Ms. Joe says, I heard that, I've heard that what he did is no different than what they say most Hollywood does. Well, that's like, uh, who was it, Kevin Spacey? Kevin Spacey was accused of drugging young dudes and raping them or molesting them. And uh, Kevin Spacey was like, yeah, yeah, I did do that. It's a dark time in my life. Uh, by the way, did I mention that I'm gay? And people were like, yeah, that that's not what we're concerned about. We're concerned about the sexual assault. Why would you do that? He's like, yeah, because, uh, you know, because the gay thing. And they're like, no, stop. Like, he was trying to, like, like move attention over. And we're like, no, 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 we get that. That's why you were doing this with little boys stop trying to take attention away that's like if diddy was like they're like hey man you have all these allegations against you uh you know two white women came out a mexican woman black woman blah 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 he'd be like yeah i'm i like biracial relationships you're like no stop what are you talking about man that's not what we're referring to at all Ms. Jones says, and all those actors that talk about the stuff they had to do to get where they are today. I guess that's why I'm here today. I refused. I like, nope. Sorry, not going to happen. 
Not going to happen, Channing Tatum. Um, <laughs> Mario Z says, since we're running this into the ground, let's do it. What about Cuba Gooding Jr.? The person who accused Diddy also said Cuba is responsible, too. I have heard about Cuba Gooding Jr. not being a good person before all the Diddy stuff came out. So I totally believe that. Um, oh, what was it? It was like sometime last year. I saw something about Cuba Gooding Jr. I was like, what? I go, but he was in Rat Race. But yeah, no, apparently he is not a good person either. I just, yeah, forcible touching. He pled guilty to a misdemeanor in April 2022. Yeah, I was like, I, that was that was an old one, so I totally believe that one. Mr. Jones says Brian Singer is awfully is awful. Apparently, you can't speak out against him because he's got so much pull he can make you disappear job wise. They should make him disappear world wise. Yeah, see, Cuba Gooding Jr. has stuff from years back. He settled a suit in June of 2023. So if they say anything about him, I totally believe that. Like that fool's that fool's messed up. Mad Lodge 44, you got it. The he did reference. He did. Hashtag he did. Uh, oh, I see that right here. Lawsuit against Sean Combs as Cuba Gooding Jr. Mm -mm. If the math is correct, then I wonder what The Rock has done to get where he is today. Maybe we'll find out years from now. Oh, don't say that, man. Actually, you know... um. Terry Crews spoke out about that, you know, that someone groped him or whatever, and everybody was like, oh, they made fun of him for it. But, I mean, he, he, like, admitted, like, yeah, that's what they do. That's weird. But now he's like, yeah, well, you know, they do weird stuff. I try to stay away. And I was like, okay, I believe him. It's cool, dude. Mr. Jones said, you don't want to know what The Rock did. Actually, I've heard some stuff. For as far as WWE wrestling stuff was concerned, or does he play the white card? <laughs> Forgive me. He's like, but I was in Moana. Remember, I sung. I sung a song. What the Rock is cooking? God, can you imagine if they did have salt charges against the Rock? All oh, the tabloids would be saying stuff like that, or they'd be like, "Has Dwayne Johnson hit?" Rock bottom, I'm like oh no, no. <laughs> Popcorn. Mr. Jones says, "Yeah, dude played Lamont Sanford's son. Put out a video saying why he retired from acting." Um, Desmond Wilson. What? I didn't know about that, man. I love Sanford and Son. What did Desmond Wilson put out? Oh, Demond Wilson. I said his name wrong. Uh, Demond Wilson retirement. I said Desma. I got a friend named Desma. It's <laughs> not not Demond Wilson. Oh, it said he pursued a career in the clergy. He became an ordained minister. This fool looks young. Like he looks younger when he's not Lamont, because he didn't want to bend over to move up. Good. You shouldn't have to have relations to move up. I mean, unless you like those relations, hey, by all means, use that to get up in the world. That's one. <laughs> People are gonna be like, no, no, Sonny, don't, don't, don't do that. There will be memes for decades, like. Because there's some people that do sleep their way to the top, but they like that. So it's like, okay, cool. I mean, I guess realize your dreams, live out your dreams if that's what you want to do, right? But Demond Wilson, man, I'm all looking at this stuff. He does look a lot younger, though. Like, I don't know how old he is in this picture. But this fool does not look, uh, let's see. 
His middle name was Grady. What was his first name? Which was also a character from uh, where did I go? Presenting. Nope. Presents. Share screen. Mm, that one. Nope. Uh, that one. There we go. Oh, what is this presentation mode? There we go. Yeah, look, he looks young. I would have believed he was Fred's son at this look more than when he was Lamont. All right, get out of here, Lamont. Isn't there a saying, behind every fortune is a crime or something like that? I think it's behind every good man is a good woman or something like that. I could be wrong. How does Rock in his 50s? He's had, he has to be in his 50s. I tell people, I was like, I hope I look as good as The Rock does in his 50s when I'm in my 30s. D. Wayne. D. Rock. Uh, he, he was born in 72. May 2nd, 1972. I got to remember to send him a happy birthday card. He's 51 right now. It says upcoming movies Moana 2. I don't know if there was a Moana 2 coming out. Yeah, it was an interview with someone on Instagram last year, I think. Oh, okay. Man, I didn't know that. I'm going to try to get him on the live stream. But, uh, yo, Demond Wilson, uh, you want to be on my live stream, man? He's be like, how many viewers do you have? I'm like, Psh, 18 at least, man. 17 at least, man. I just dropped a follower. I just dropped a viewer. What's that? Uh, narrow <laughs> Idris Elba. I would like to do a movie with Idris Elba so I could use a European accent. I'd be like, you use a Texas accent. I use a European accent. He'll be like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, yeah, that's what's up. Or he'll be like, hello, mate. Let's do it. And I'm like, yeah, that's what's up. Ernie Husband at 78 today looks like he's 40. He looks, yeah, that fool looks young. There's a picture with him and Paul Rudd, and it's like, I think these are vampires. I'm like, they might be. Cuba Gooding's career really went downhill fast. It's like he was radio, and he was in Jerry Maguire, then he was in Rat Race. I think Rat Race was what tanked his, his career, to be honest with you. The Madre San Gorda, he said, that's his birthday, May 2nd, 1972. Oh, I guess May 2nd, 1983. See, I remembered that part. Uh, wow, this is the, the Rock was married to Danny Garcia from 1997 to 2008. And then he married L Lauren Hashiam, Hashian in 2019. Because he had to upgrade to a younger model. Lucky Butter says, well, lift weights, eat your greens, and take some juice, and you look at great at 50. Mm, those are all three things that I don't like doing. So I guess I'm not going to look great at 50. That's cool. I'm going to start telling people, I hope I look like Steve Buscemi by the time I get to my 50s. And they'll be like, that's a pretty good goal to go for, man. You can probably do it. Like, Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate the confidence. But yeah, oh, what is it, man? It's 12, 1241 in the AM. I appreciate everybody for stopping in. Um, Going to go to wrap it up now. Thank you all for tuning in to this very special Happy Easter. Boom. Happy Easter uh, Sundays with the Sunny Channel. Let me see if I can remember everybody who's... Oh, look. Even Prescribed Drone was uh, born on May 2nd. That's what's up. How many people... Everybody was born on... You know who was born on my birthday? Anne Hathaway. And Charles Manson. And me. Sexy people. Always born on that day. But yeah, thank y'all, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, what was this right here? The dude on Toy Federation channel who has a toy store looks like Steve Buscemi of Toy Collectors. I'm going to be like, I'm the pit bull of Toy Collectors. 
Uh, Lucky Butter says, have a great week, everyone. This was indeed a stream. Happy Sunday to you, Rabble Rousers, uh, says Marcus Yee. Clockwork Orgy with the Easter Bunny way, egg and well booty. Imper, uh, Impaler the Monarch says, Roddy Piper said there was some abuse in wrestling before he passed away. There was some scandal with a guy harassing uh, up-and-coming wrestlers in the 80s. Forgot what, forgotten it was on one of the TV shows. My Lodge 44 says, hope everyone had a great egg hunt today. Hope so. I think my little kid had a good one. Savage Saint says, thanks, Sonny. Have a great week, people. See you in two. Yes, be back in two weeks. It's right in time for taxes to be due. I think taxes are due around that time. Uh, but yeah, shout out to everybody who showed up. Uh, Matt Logic 44, Savage Saint, Impaler Monarch, Clockwork Orgy, Olu, Marcus E, Lucky Butter, Mr. Jones, Prescribe, Drone. Uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, Mark Rose was here. Obi Wan is. Uh, let's see. I missed you. My bad. The mother Gorda was here. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone. Prescribed Jones is gonna go watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, which had a uh, is it Richard Lewis? He's the one that just recently passed away. I think it was Richard Lewis, right? Which was he was pretty funny. I like Richard Lewis, but I think that they said that was the last role that he had. So yeah, so thank y'all everyone. Uh, hopefully, have some more content out there for the um, channel members. Appreciate y'all support as well as all the other subscribers on here. Hopefully, get some content out for y'all in the next few days. Um, but thank y'all again. Have a great night, and we'll see y'all in two weeks. And then now this is the awkward part where I got to go look for my end stream button to end the stream.